Somebody is excited about it. What's up guys, Brady Burks back here again. Hey, it's been a while since I've done a video. We just really haven't been doing anything too exciting. Been uh, going around fence and doing some miscellaneous things like service and equipment. Uh, but today we're going to change that. We're going to go catch some heifers that were out on that cover crop. Bring them home because before too long, they're going to be on a semi headed south. So follow along. We're going to work some cattle today. Go ahead and load up. Good girl. Hey, that corn's for the cows. Knock it off. Back seat. You know better anyway. Get in the back seat. Thank you. Goofball. Sometimes Remy can be a really big help, and other times she can be a total disaster. We're going to take her with us today just in case. We're going to take the Ranger just in case they're on the other side of the creek and we can load her around the field a lot better. Before we go though, we gotta check on tonight's dinner. Smoking low and slow. These pellet grills are super handy. Pretty nice to set meat or dinner on there and let it smoke or cook all day long while you're working and then when you're done for the day, you got an awesome meal. Little PRR beef right there on the old pellet grill. We made it up here to the field where the cows are at. We're just waiting on Caden to get here with the portable corral. We'll set that up. We'll grain these cows in. We got some feed with us. It's usually the easiest way to get them caught uh, is to try and coax them in with some cubes or feed because when you get to running them and things, sometimes it doesn't always pan out. So hopefully they just run right in. And if not, that's why we have the ranger and the dog and we can uh, push them up there, but these girls are pretty well bucket trained, so it should be easy. Isn't that right, Remy? You don't ever say it's easy, you can jinx it, huh?
Yep. Hey, cows. Yep. Cowboy. <laughs> No, yeah, I like that hand signal. <laughs> Did we get it? Nailed her. Freaking amateur hour. Seven times the charm. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Hey, hey, hey. guys we got a couple loads of uh, those bred heifers home we've got one or two we did not catch which isn't uncommon I mean especially since we just rolled out the corral and and grained them in normally we would leave this corral up for a couple days let them get used to it um, grain them in different things and then they're way easier to catch well we set it up today thinking that we would get them all caught and we almost did but we didn't so we're gonna dump a bale and some grain in there and uh come check them tomorrow see if we can't catch them in there Guys, we got those cows caught. Um, biggest reason for getting them caught is they're on a minimum maintenance road here, and we want to have them all in a central location on good roads so that when the time comes to haul them out with a semi, we don't have to worry about getting them rounded up or the roads being dry or different things. So that's why we went ahead and made the decision today to get them caught with 
uh, more winter weather and rain and things in the forecast. Uh, we had a quick window here this afternoon, so that's what we did. I'm wondering why I'm rolling around in the Suburban still pulling the skid steer. It's because my truck is still in the shop, so can't wait to get it back and pull things around with a gooseneck trailer or with a diesel truck instead of having to use this Suburban all the time, but it's getting us by. But before somebody drops in the comments like, whoa dude, you're crazy, you gotta do what you gotta do with what you have. So thanks for watching guys, I um, really appreciate you tagging along while we transport some red heifers home. Guys, if you like what we're doing here in uh, North Central Kansas, just make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Um, just really helps us grow this channel. We're not doing it for ourselves. We really truly just want to give people a glimpse into uh, agriculture and the way of life and and just uh, things of that nature. We're not really doing it to show off. As I've said before, we don't know everything. We just know what we do and how we do it, and we hope to share that with you with these uh, vlog series. This. So, appreciate y'all watching. Thanks. We're gonna end this day. We gotta go home and do chores yet, but ending it with a beautiful sunset overlooking the little town of Lebanon, Kansas, right there. The geographic center of the United States, right in the center of it all. Just a flyover state, blink you miss it type town, but it's okay with us. We love it.